Hey guys, it's Christy Moolah, coach uh, for the course. And I am here to show you today how to post different types of polls to your page. So the first poll we're gonna do, you can see right here, this is a, called a GIF poll. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to create this. So we're gonna go to our page. We're going to go here to the three little dots. Go to poll. All right, now when you're doing a poll on your page, you have two different options. In a group, this is different. You have many, many options you can add for a poll. So the first thing I'm gonna do is Taco Tuesday. Which do you prefer? Then I like to write tap one because not everybody knows how to use these polls. And I found that if I click or if I put tap one there, it helps them to uh, know what to do with the poll and I get more interaction with it. I don't put to vote anymore on there because vote has a political connotation and Facebook doesn't love that. It also sounds a little bit more like clickbait. And of course, they don't like that either. So I just do the tap one. All right. So we're going to type in soft shells. If you don't type anything in these, then you cannot uh, do your poll. You have to have something typed in here or else it won't let you post the poll. You could just attach photos or you can just do it with just the words. It's not very interesting. The GIFs tend to get more reactions. So I'm going to type in soft taco. I know my GIF is way down here. We're going to scroll and scroll and scroll for the one that I want. Come on. Oh, there it is on the plate. Okay. Next one I'm going to do, I'm going to tap the GIF here. I'm going to say crunchy taco. And I'm going to use this lady eating this taco. Now I can expire this poll in a week, a day, never, or do a custom. I'm going to put never on this one. Uh, if you had something that was time sensitive, like a Valentine's Day poll, and it was going to be over um, in a week, you could uh, expire the poll in custom. You could go, you know, for February 14th that it would expire, February 15th that it would expire, and at what time. So I'm going to put never on this one. Then you would go to share now or you could schedule it, or you could save it as a draft. You could backdate it. I don't use that really ever. Save it as a draft if you wanna come back and finish it later, or you're not sure when you wanna post it yet. You can also post it to groups or to Instagram as well. All right, guys, so that is how to do a gift poll. So I'm gonna show you next how to do a four square poll. We call it a four square poll because it has four squares. Okay, so this I just created in Canva. I like to use either the Pinterest or Tumblr size graphics so it fills the screen on a mobile phone. I put the question right on my uh, photo here. You don't have to do that. You could put the question and the answers over here, but I think this makes it super simple for people to give an answer. Now, you don't have to put words or te any text on the photos if they're super clear as to what you're asking, um, but I wanted to put the text on there to make it easier for people to answer. So that's just simple. You would just make this in Canva and then you would upload it as a photo onto your page and post it. All right, the next post we have for polls uh, is the emoji poll. And you can see here, I used emojis for people to use and you can see they started replying with emojis as to what they were. So let's go over here and go to the page and we're gonna create this post. So. Which one are you and what's one thing you love about that? All right, now I'm gonna to go to the emoji button here. And here. And here are my different hearts. I'm gonna just say equals stay at home mom equals work at home mom or work away from home mom. Okay, now I'm choosing questions that are pertinent to my audience, that my audience would resonate with. You need to be choosing questions that are perfect for your audience. So if you had um, you know, a business page uh, about how to edit videos and you targeted mostly men, you would not want to use this question. So this is just an example. You could use uh, any emoji that you want when doing an emoji poll. These polls are really great for those quick interactions with people. Um, if they're not used to talking back to you on your page, that way they can just put in something super quick and it gets them warmed up to the idea of talking back to you. You can see I also put a question in here as an extra that says, and what's one thing you love about that? Just to see if I could get a little bit more conversation going. You don't always have to do that, but you can. All right, guys, so that is uh, three different types of polls. Hope you found that helpful.